Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to a Monday broadcast of uh, the Access of Trader.com um, Monday night broadcast. <laughs> Never got sold. Uh, anyway guys, good morning. Well, good evening everybody. Hope everybody had a good day. Again, it's just you could tell after seven, eight hours, nine hours of trading and looking at charts, you don't even know what day it is, uh, let alone if it's morning or night. But hopefully everybody had uh, a good trading day. Uh, what's great about this tape, uh, unlike a lot of tapes uh, in the past, there really is something for everybody, okay? You have your small cap names, you have your large cap names, you have your parabolic moves, you have your backside moves for the short sellers. You have everything, you have literally everything. And this is such, such a unique time to kind of be a trader because again, there is no one way of trading. There is no right way or wrong way of trading. It's just, it's just the way that you feel comfortable on the way it makes you sleep at night. And, and this is a type of market uh, this, you know, the, depending on your process, you can literally have an advantage every single day if all, you know, if all the signals and the technical research that you do every single day matches up and confirms. And this is a perfect example of two things what happened today. Number one, uh, we definitely came in with sell bias today. Uh, we, again, we made that argument. Uh, we made our case uh, over and over the weekend that this is the first close on the bottom of the channel, and any any confirmation today was gonna you know was gonna really send in uh, another wave of selling. We got that. We'll you know we'll talk about the individual pivots in a second. But the second thing it really did confirm, besides that technical analysis really works very very well, is that incredible resilience the bulls have. We, we've been you know we've been talking about this now. For months, right? For months, for years, you could go back to you know you could go back to where you know Trump got elected with all the Asia may mess, the trade war on, trade war off, uh, with the whole you know Armageddon of COVID, and here we are. Here you know here we are. Uh, the bulls again uh, showed that they're, again they're just not you know they're not knocked out. They're not going to just just go quietly in the night and, and they had every opportunity today. If you saw, for all you guys who didn't trade uh, in the morning, especially uh, for all you guys who are trading part-time and have, um, you know, have jobs, whatever the case may be. If you just look at the prices today, you say, all right, you know what, non-eventful day, a lot of names were weak, right? Weak, but the, you know, you couldn't really get the sense of how aggressive uh, that first sell-off was. And that was our plan. Again, our, you know, our job is not to uh, try to guess or predict uh, where the closing price is going to be. That's not what we do. This market is too unpredictable. Uh, there's too many moving parts. There are way too many uh, macro uh, components that could you know, completely deter your, your trading plan for the day. So I, you know, I've been saying this now every single day, day by day, trade by trade, interval by interval, and we're just trying to get to the next day uh, with a little bit more than we have from the previous day. And what I love what I saw today was the idea that if you really wait, okay, let your game plan play out, okay, good things are going to happen. And again, it's not one of those things that you fall into luck. You know, we kind of make our own luck, uh, not only in life, but in trading as well. And I've always said this for many, many years. It's not my, and it's, and I didn't make up this phrase, but luck resides um, with the prepare. And that's what it is. Uh, we had a very, very specific plan uh, coming into tonight, uh, coming into today's session. Uh, by the graces of the market gods, we got a gap up today. Okay, we got that part. And you could tell literally in the first few minutes, uh, once those channels started getting very, very lethargic, you could just see pre-market, um, you knew it was just a matter of time. And all we did was wait and uh, again, swan dive, waterfall, whatever, you know, whatever adjective you want to use. But we saw this really great wave uh, of selling this morning. Uh, congratulations to a lot of you guys caught the, you know, caught the wave uh, really big. Um, I caught Zoom. I caught Tesla. I caught Netflix. Really, really good moves. There's a lot of them. I, I missed Amazon. And the only reason I missed Amazon, because it was like a four or $5 spread. And I was like, I'm not hitting a bit for $5. 
Well, again, hindsight should hit the five dollars, went down fifty. But nevertheless, uh, you know, again, the the great bull bear market of two thousand and twenty continues, uh, and I think I think by now we should just call it. Uh, the opportunistic market, right? There is no bulls, there is no bears, there is no sell or buy bias. It's just uh, traders trading uh, responsibly, going where the action is, not overthinking and just reacting uh, to confirmation. That's what it is. But again, as as impressive as uh, the thought process and the game plan was and the way it played out, you got to love the fact that the bulls stepped right back up again, going through that whole Rocky Balboa, you know, I am completely broken jaw, broken ribs, fat eye, all that good stuff. They came back swinging the 11th round. And again, when you look at the scoreboard said and done, uh, again, you believe in mirror images, right, guys? You believe in completely mirror images, right? This is where we are, folks. The, the Bulls uh, reclaimed uh, this massive trend line that started all the way back uh, into March. And again, the market looks really, really good. Now, again, the market looks really, really good. Again, don't confuse the indexes to individual prices. Again, are there some names that look really good for tomorrow? Of course. If you if you chart today for five minutes, you could figure out which ones they were. Um, you know, Boeing looks great. Tesla looks great, right? Apple looks very, very good. Uh, Micron came out with uh, really good earnings. I mean, just, just exploding, right? Really exploding after hours. So the semiconductors are, are, are making rounds. But again, if you look at the macro market, okay, although these are components that are showing you good balance buy buy uh, buy bias components in tomorrow, again, you're still having a lot of names that are having problems, right? BYND, which was a sick waterfall today. When I, when I mean, you'll see in a second. Uh, Beyond still looks like crap. Again, hammer and it could, could bounce tomorrow. But again, technical damage. Netflix, uh, again, still looks like crap but again hammer technical damage but now a hammer is bullish so the way the market is setting up is kind of the mirror image of uh the cues the way they closed again look at look at the mirror Im image guys mirror image here right mirror image here mirror image here so again going into tomorrow there's going to be some uh pretty good opportunities to the long side there's definitely going to be a lot of uh, opportunities to the short side because a lot of these stay-at-home stocks they got hit, right? They got hit. They're finally showing some mortality. You know, Zoom, again, if it confirms to the downside tomorrow, could be selling. The rock star, the quiet rock star, it, I, I didn't start following this stock till like two days ago. Where the hell was I, right? But this apparently is a, you know, is a stay-at-home name. So there was a good pivot on this thing today. Uh, and if it confirms the five-day moving average, has a lot of value back to the, to the downside. So I, I think technically we are set up uh, buy bias in tomorrow. Uh, there's going to be obviously some selective names that I think are still good candidates for more downside or at least confirmation for more downside that had really, really aggressive uh, run-ups. But again, the greatest part about this 2020 market, even, even going back the last couple of years, uh, there's advantage to the bulls, there's advantage to the bears, there's an advantage to the, sh to the natural so short sellers, there's advantage to uh, the perma bulls, right? If you, again, if you're, if you're looking at the market uh, from, from a different point of view. Uh, so this is, again, the, the, there might be a lot of crappy things about 2020, but the stock market action is not one of them. So again, hopefully uh, everybody is doing well. So uh, let's talk about it. So uh, we talked about last night, right? Last night in the video, uh, again, I, it was very, very, it was very hard for me not to use more, you know, more punctuation marks, okay? Um, like, look, I can't emphasize how important uh, tomorrow's gonna be, which is basically today, uh, for short-term sentiment. Friday's close was right on the rising support. You can see this right over here. Uh, technical analysis is not subjective. And I said this, you know, again, if this thing confirms, right, and we put the, and we'll show you the pivot in a second. If this thing confirms, everything's going to swan dive. And if you look at the pivots, everything that I put today, literally, literally everything that I put today was to the downside. For the exception of one uh, pivot to the upside on, um, what was it? Was it, uh, was it Boeing? I think it was Boeing. Other than Boeing, everything was to the downside. Because again, I, I, I already had it in my head. Look, I have a, I have a lot of conviction for today. Um, I believe in technical analysis. I uh, will give this every opportunity to, uh, for, the, for the bears, every opportunity to succeed. And the market got crushed. I mean, mar these, I forget about the market. These stocks got absolutely destroyed 
uh, right from the word go. So let's talk about this. Uh, 442, uh, big rising daily support for Netflix. Also the pre-market lows. If it builds below, can flush. Here was Netflix just destroyed, just absolutely destroyed. Uh, here was 442, right? Excuse me. Here was whole 442. You see this all 442, guys, right? 442 just got absolutely annihilated. Uh, $10 candle right at the open, just molt, absolutely destroyed. I caught a piece of that trade. Uh, pretty good move there. Um, same thing with uh, Tesla 960 sneaky pivot. Uh, sneaky pivot. 954 is Friday's lows. If it builds below, it can test that 937. It didn't get quite down to 937, but Tesla was a pretty good trade. Um, so here was here was Tesla, right? Here was the here was right over here. Two candles right here. Everybody see this, right? 960, 960. The Friday low was 954, and it went right down to the Bollinger Band of 948 again, from 960 to 948 again. Because is, is anybody ever going to be upset with a $10, $12 move? Again, big, big move on uh, Tesla as well. This is the one that I missed. And, and again, I didn't miss it because I missed it. I missed it because it was literally like a 4 or $5 spread uh, in Amazon. But when you look back at it, it's much easier to say, well, I should have done it. Well, yeah, you, you short a stock on the equity side, 4 or $5 Right, four or five dollars spread, and you can tell me how comfortable you're going to be. But again, twenty six eighty is the ten day support. Uh, also, the pre market lows. There's a downside pocket all the way to twenty six seventeen, and look, look what Amazon did. I mean, look at this candle here, right? So it takes out this whole area here, twenty six eighty, uh, twenty six eighty one, and it puts in a low of twenty six thirty. Only a fifty dollar candle. Again, I don't need that in my life. Don't need that in my life. Uh, again, congratulations for you guys who caught that as well. And they, they just started going one by one. Uh, NVIDIA 365, it builds below can flush. Macro support is 363. So this is a very, very important level. Uh, any close below that level can get smashed. Uh, here is NVIDIA, right? So here is NVIDIA, this whole 365 level, took out 365, 363, uh, went down to 356. Just again, just, a com just complete... Uh, destruction in beta this morning. Uh, this one just got murdered. Uh, Beyond 136 support, if it builds below, can flush. Uh, here was Beyond. You, I mean, you kind of get the point here. So here's the 136 level on Beyond. That was also Friday's low. And I mean, look at the move. The stock went down to 125, just murder, absolute murder. Apple 353 support, you get the picture. 353 support, if it builds below, can flush. Uh, here was Apple, right? So here's the 353 on Apple, uh, went down to 351, not as big as the other ones, but again, at least you understand where it stopped uh, at this rising linear regression line. Um, Dunkin', that's what I was about to say, Dunkin' Donuts. Uh, DraftKings, 3260, if it builds below, can flush. Here was DraftKings, so, you know, here's DraftKings, 3260, uh, went all the way down to the 30s. Uh, Alibaba, 114.30, 114, if it builds below, can flush. Um, so there was a lot of stuff, all right? There was a lot of stuff today. So here's the 114.30, right? 114.30, 114.30, went all the way down uh, to 212. Uh, and I think, was that, it? was that it for the day? Oh, no, this is, and here's the macro, right? Here's the macro break, 239.68. That was the bottom of the channel. Uh, that's the line in the sand. So here are the Qs, QQQs before obviously a nice reversal. So here's a 239. Right, here's the 239.68 uh, level, and they went down all the way down to 237. So a $2 pull on the Qs as well. But again, you gotta give the bulls, uh, you, you have to give the bulls, the, you know, they were so resilient, they came back up. Also, uh, there was a couple other things. Uh, Lulu, 28, uh, 280, 288 went down like four or five bucks. Uh, they actually acquired a company after the close. I think it's one of those companies that do the workouts off of the mirror seen a lot of those ads. Uh, looks actually pretty cool. Spot never got down there. Uh, yeah, just amazing moves. Just amazing moves. Uh, everything got destroyed. Uh, nice move there. And oh yeah, yeah. So, and here's Tesla, right? 990 needs to build, experienced traders only. Uh, take on the way up. And the reason why I take on the way up, here was Tesla, right? Here was Tesla, got above uh, this 990 area right over here, right? Got above this 998 or area over here. And now slowly but surely it wants to attack this macro area here. We saw a lot of call buying, very, very aggressive. So if this top of the range gets confirmed, guys, you know, you might have, you might see a move. Um, who knows? 1050, 1090. Again, we saw a lot of 1100, 1130 call buyers, 1120 call buyers coming in. So 
yeah, we're set up for tomorrow. Uh, amazing moves today. I know a lot of you guys did incredibly well. A again, and I say this all the time, um, preparation plus process equals profits. That's the triple P's. There's no, there's no other way around it. Again, you get out of this market what you put in. And again, if you're not putting in the work um, every single day, looking at charts, just understand the person on the other side of your trades is. So uh, great job. Great job. Uh, it's only Monday. It's only Monday. Tomorrow we should get uh, some pretty good value on, on board. And again, every single day, different day, different themes, process still stay the same. Guys, Congratulations for night. putting in the time to take control of your trading. You're one step closer to owning your future and achieving the success you desire. Want daily trade ideas directly from Dan, straight off his personal watch list? Unlock our free PS60 Vault, where you'll get nightly updates on pivot opportunities we're watching for the next day's session. Click the link in the description to get started today.